Okay, so reset. We can see how we're keeping that style of his. Going from this one to this one in this image. So this image has been sent in by Josh Ball. So we have the raw image of his. And his style, I personally really love his contrast, especially He's got a really smooth look to those like dark blacks, but they're faded and then it transitions very nicely into just a really smooth image. So you can see the tones are obviously very warm. That's the main color going on. And we are working with this shot here. So obviously very warm, very smooth. And we, we've done a tutorial on this one before and a few other ones. So here's another one with those really nice smooth faded shadows to those smooth faded highlights. It's just beautifully done. So if you come up here, and click here so what i'll do is link his presets down in the description for you guys and come over here and you can check them out i think some styles you don't really need presets but this particular style presets are, are definitely very helpful because there's curves involved a balancing of colors going on links in the description come over and check them out it's another example of those dark blacks that are smoothed out and then it's just smooth right through into the highlights that are down and yeah just really amazing work not only editing but also shooting this image here so this is the raw image and then obviously the screenshot of his instagram over here so the settings for this one is 50 mil on a canon i know he shoots canon 1.2 super shallow blurry blurry background there pretty quick shutter just to expose it correctly 1200 will have a little bit of texture to it so we have done a tutorial on him before so if you haven't seen that one come over and watch it because it's really 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 good before after so we got really close in the last one so here's our attempt at his image and then there's his actual screenshot of his instagram there you can see the little symbol there so we got super 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 close so go watch that one if you haven't and what we're gonna do is i want to show you guys the process of applying presets and adjusting them and stuff like that so this was me just having a go and just trying myself and now let's punch it onto this image and see what we can do your settings pace settings so obviously it doesn't look very good and we've got to work here so instantly i don't like the colors down with the colors too much purple tone so it's coming here right we actually exposed really well out of camera not too much work needs to be done just stylizing the image yeah we just cropped in a bit there so let's turn on the curves because this is gonna really control the contrast of our image so here's the curves from our last tutorial we just copied and pasted so this curve fade to those blacks fade to those whites um, the image is a little dark as you can see so we're gonna bump it up keep it about there but we'll bump up the shadows a bit higher with exposure we'll contrast whites down flatness there not too much pop to his style highlights can come up a bit more okay so flatness detail if you look at the back there he's a guest editor inside the course so he has done four lessons on how he actually edits his images start to finish his process you get the raw image the preset you follow along step by step a really talented guy so it's awesome to have him teaching within the course along with now over a hundred lessons from super talented photographers teaching you start to finish on how they edit while giving you the preset raw image step-by-step -step lessons hello everyone this is ricardo speaking i am very honored to be selected as one of the guest editors on martin's course this course is for everyone i have watched a bunch of workshops courses and everything on the internet available i buy a lot of courses i like to study the market so i have watched a lot of courses and definitely martin's was the best and the most complete one if you have any doubts about editing i'm sure this course will teach you everything you need thanks martin once again for the invitation and i hope you all like the course it's actually how i'm learning to improve my work these days because the youtube tutorials i'm just sort of guessing and it is very hard but when you get the raw image preset step-by-step -step lessons unlocks a lot of stuff for you you're getting the actual correct results not me guessing because sometimes i get it wrong and i actually made a lesson in the course about my attempt 
to edit like Josh here on one of my YouTube tutorials and then after he joined the course he actually edits his images really interesting differences and then not only that I'm making sure you're mastering color mastering curves understanding how tools interact and affect each other and how this birdness of adjustments all affecting each other how you can learn to control them and get control of your style and build a unique style because they all affect each other you move one thing it ruins another thing but I'll teach you how to really take control of Lightroom and then follow these awesome tutorials to the value of like 50 workshops and you'll be able to follow them because I will teach you everything I know about color and curves and recreating styles so so the difference between these YouTube tutorials and the course is that obviously the guest editors but then I'm also going into the why behind all my adjustments because these YouTube tutorials are sort of walking you through the settings and I can't dive into why I'm doing what I'm doing with the curves because it requires requires an hour long breakdown on why I'm doing that to that part of the image and photo editing especially needs this well organized curriculum that you go through in an organized way so come over and check out all the testimonials we've got over a thousand people on it I just thought everything looked fake everything looked crap my photos felt a bit generic they felt a bit formulaic I was like anti-editing basically you distilled the formula and check out the free training hour long all about color and the curves and we've got a live free training as well put some chats in the comments even if it's just it's just what you guys want to learn in this um if you've got any questions at all about editing and heaps of free presets and raw images if you're on the email list so make sure you're on the email list and let's bring it down bang the clarity down quite a bit Wick adjustments down here maybe a bit more orange maybe we're gonna do some split turning as well because i feel like that's important um don't want those reds too strong oranges like he's got this like yellow kind of to the image going on this way red so keep an eye on like the lips and stuff like that when i play with the reds there's a lot of reds in this actually go this way in terms of luminance i'm gonna lift the reds i think it creates pop to the subject oranges yellows so so like her hair especially like shines uh, uh, let's reset the blues. I'm not sure what we want to do with those yet. They look too saturated now. Let's just bring them down So if we come down to split turning now like this is from the preset that we like copied and pasted It wasn't a preset. We just copied and pasted I'm gonna do things like look really close into the shadows. I want more of So you get more of a yellow rather than like a purple and then I want more so I'm gonna drag it outward do 10 highlights so I'm going to come around to the left, some more of a green rather than a red. So about their blending and balance. Play around with these like, and then if, when you understand what they're doing, so favor the warm tones that we're adding in. So when your image looks more balanced, just sort of just roll with it. Balance, should we put more blues or more of the warm tones we added? Sharpening, I'll just keep about there it's but we'll keep it low i might lift the grain for this one somewhere around here here we have a big circle on the subject here so what we're going to do is bump just very slightly in the exposure but we will also do shadows and then like sometimes your image looks washed out if you do that so a bit of contrast Okay, and we've just got another one on the face. We want to brighten, so we'll go shadows. Keep it kind of flat so it doesn't get too punchy. And then just contrast so it doesn't look washed out. Brush, it's kind of hard to see, but like the legs, um, we need to brighten. So saturation, it's hard, hard to see, but it's important. Um, saturation. Um, I think we just lack a bit of contrast. Let's go down in the blacks. Yeah. Luminance was kind of important for this one. Uh, if we reset split turning, you can see that we balanced it a lot more, cooled it off in the shadows especially. Profile corrections definitely because 1.2 is pretty shallow. Okay, okay, so I think could drop the whites for a bit more flatness. We were, we were pretty good, but like maybe highlights down a bit, a little less contrast, a bit brighter. 
Okay, so reset. We can see how we're keeping that style of his. So what I'll do is link his presets down in the description for you guys and come over here and you can check them out. Comment who you want to see on this YouTube channel and make sure you're following me on Instagram. And yeah, I'm in Bali now, so I'm going to try to pump out heaps of awesome content for you guys. And yeah, catch you in the next one.